we programmed NXT motors, now we're going to program Tetrix motors. You can see I've built my Tetrix robot. And to start off, we start off in a way similar to NXT motors and sensors. Uh, first though, we make sure that our platform type is NXT and Tetrix. Then we need to go into motors and sensor setup. And we can't just start setting up motors. Our motors are connected to our NXT brick via motor controllers. We need to actually set up the controllers first. You can use the standard Tetrix configuration, which is from port 1 to a motor controller and then daisy chained into a servo controller, like in this picture. You can also do custom setups where you can plug your controllers into any input port and put them in any order. Then all you do is use the pull down menus to show what you have set up. I'm only using a motor controller. And now you'll see in our motors screen that we have more than just motors A, B, and C. We have the two motors on that motor controller. One of them is my motor left, one of them is my motor right. Perhaps you're wondering about those strange port names to the left. They mean motor, and then the input number, then the controller number, then the motor number. So this one is on sensor 1, controller 1, motor 1. Alright, our controllers and motors are set up. If you go back to the program, you can see that they have input all that information at the top of the program. So we can use those names of the motors that we've set up. And the nice thing is that turning the motors on and off and setting powers is the same as when we were working with NXT motors. We use the motor variable and in the square brackets we give the motor name and then we set it equal to the power that we want it to go. So I'm going to give it a half second wait and then turn the motors off by setting their powers equal to zero. Then we will test it out. And that didn't really go the way I planned it. I gave both motors the same power so they should have gone in the same direction. But they'd actually turned. And the reason they turned is that the motors are not facing each other. So one needs to be reversed from the other. See, they're facing in different directions. So we can fix that problem by reversing one of the motors. Now we can compile it and download it and try it again. And now the two motors are going in the same direction because one is reversed from its normal behavior. And now, just like with the NXT motors, if we want to make the robot turn, we'll need to have the robots go in the opposite direction. So I can have one of them be positive and one of them be negative. So I'll make motor left negative 50, motor right positive 50. So we should drive straight, then turn, and then stop. And there it goes straight, then turns. Try this out with your own robot. See if you can get the Tetrix motors to run.